Hey there, my name is Hidamori, and it is literally 50 below degree, 50 below zero outside. So, like, literally nothing is going on. Life cannot go on right now. So, I decided what better day to record the audio for my 1K sub video. So, thank you very much for 1,000 subscribers. Holy shit, I never ever thought I would reach this, mostly because it wasn't ever a goal of mine. But thank you, anyways. So, today I decided I would draw some really stupid Invader Zim uh, shit as you can see on the screen there and while doing that I decide that instead of just putting music and whatever text I would respond to some of your guys's questions because I like doing interactive stuff and believe it or not I do read through every single comment I get on every single piece of social media like literally I will spend hours going through tumblr and seeing who reblogged my art or whatever and reading all the tags because oh my god I love it it makes me feel happy I think that's great so we'll start with the post I made on YouTube thanking you guys for 1,000 subscribers and asking your questions and I don't have much starting off with moth anon two days ago what are your favorite invaders in ships and I gotta say I don't really have any romantic ships uh, as for the more popular ones like Zim and Dib romance or Tack and Gaz or anything. I don't really ship those. I don't care if people do. It's not my business. But I do follow some artists that draw it and I honestly, I think I would say Zim and Dib as friends is my absolute shit. I love it. And to be honest, I see them mostly as a sibling dynamic. Like an asshole older sibling and the chaotic younger sibling. Like there's one video that I made a few comments about on my Tumblr that makes me think of Zim and Dib as, uh, as siblings, and I will post a quick clip of it here. Hey Casey, can you hand me a napkin? Why would I give you a napkin if you are not my king? And so really the only ships romantically I have are Zim and Scooge and Ten and Tack. That's about it. And for the next question from RandomPig98 saying spaghetti? Yes, I love spaghetti. Uh, next one from Otopus. Otopus. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but what's your favorite Invader Zim episode? And if we're not counting Enter the Florpus as an episode, I would say probably the Halloween Spectacular of Doom. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just really like the episodes where Zim and Dib actually have to team up, and I don't know. I like their dynamic as friends and stuff, and as begrudging allies. But another one, which is kind of weird, and I'm probably going to get made fun of for this, but I honestly think Dark Harvest is a lot more than people give it credit for. I'm in no way a uh, reliable critic of media, but that one actually really encapsulated the horror aspect of Invader Zim as a whole, and it was really fascinating, actually. Uh, it's really fucked up. I still, like, low-key have Vietnam flashbacks of that fucking show, of that fucking episode, but it's a good episode. It's really well-structured and absolutely horrifying, which is probably what Joan and Vasquez wanted. Okay, so since that's all for YouTube, I guess we'll go over to Instagram because some of you guys are absolutely feral. So the first one from Juju Larkin 2002 says, Every time you post about your gecko, a goblin part of me thinks of Vriska and I'm back in 2015. Yeah, I have a leopard gecko and her name is Vriska. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that maybe, maybe not all of you because it's one of my older videos where I said cleaning Vriska's tank with soothing music or whatever. But yeah, my leopard gecko's name is Vriska and it was a joke at first, but now all of her, her name in her veterinary file is Vriska and then my last name. So yeah, I mean, it's, her name is Vriska now. And she's a leopard gecko. She's gonna live for a while. So when I'm 30 something, someone's gonna be like, oh, nice leopard gecko, what's her name? And I'm gonna be like, Vriska, and die inside a little bit. Okay, next one is uh, from Ember Glow Fox. How does it feel to be the coolest motherfucker alive? And all I gotta say is, I don't know, dude, you tell me. From Kai Wave 707 Art, who came up with the scent of watermelon? Probably watermelons, I would say. From She the Wolf, saying, I love you, and I love you too. <laughs> From my friend slash co-worker, LCBX, some say the birds work for the bourgeoisie, but I know for a fact that they work for Big Pharma. 
And as someone who works in a pharmacy, I can confirm that the birds run it all. The birds know what's up. Another one for LCBX. All hail the graceful and lawful chaotic kazoo wizard. That's me, and I do have a kazoo, and Lillian has a video of me completely losing my freaking mind with a kazoo in her car when we drove to the mall. From Lil Rye Lizzle, if you had to eat one person in your family, who would it be? And honestly, I can't... My god, that is a good one. Uh, I probably wouldn't eat my mom or my sister because I like them too much. I wouldn't eat my animals because they don't deserve that. <laughs> but I don't know. If I was stranded on an island with my dad, I would like not- I don't know if I really have any qualms about eating him because he's kind of an asshole. So we'll say probably my dad. From Aransa P88? I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. They said, I'll fight for you. I'll die for you, friend. And to that I say, please don't die for me, and I will come to the fight with you. I will beat some ass with you, my friend. Okay, that's it for Instagram. So, Tumblr now. From high above the clouds somewhere, would you ever brew coffee with actual coffee instead of water? Also, please tell me more about your little reptile babes. I love them. I... oh my god. That cup of coffee would be stronger than the Hulk. I might just do it just because, just to see what happens. Doing it repeatedly, I probably wouldn't. From Drawn in the Rain, what's your favorite kind of hat? Also, people have already asked, but reptiles, please speak about your babs. So I'm getting a lot of questions about my reptiles, actually. Um, so, uh, first off, what's my favorite kind of hat? I actually have one of those rubber horse head masks, and I actually wore it to work. As for my reptiles, okay, we'll start with Vriska. I, I kind of talked about her a little bit, but... Vriska is a leopard gecko. I'm not entirely sure how old she is, and I got her from PetSmart about this time last year, I would say. I think it was around this time last year. I can't recall. But she is a radar morph leopard gecko that I got from PetSmart, and just a heads up, don't buy animals from PetSmart. But I did get her from PetSmart. I didn't do very much research when I first got her. I just really wanted a leopard gecko, but I have educated myself and we're all good now. I'm not entirely sure how old she is. I know she's an adult. So I want to say around two, three years old, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, she's slightly visually impaired. I imagine that's because of her red-eyed albinism. So she actually presents the red eyes uh, because it's part of her morph, but she's very sensitive to light. So she squints most of the time during the day, but yeah, she's about two or three years old, radar morph, and she seems to think she's a lot bigger than she actually is because the family I live with, they have two Wheaton Terrier puppies. Vriska likes to scare them, and you would think being terriers, they would go for Vriska and try to eat her or something, but no, both these dogs are scared out of their minds of Vriska. She will actually walk up to the glass if they come in my room, and she'll do this sort of threatening little step towards them, and they'll freak out, and sometimes she just yells at them. She makes this squeaking sort of noise in the back of her throat and scares the shit out of me and everyone involved. She yells at me, she yells at the dogs, she yells at random people, she... I tried to give her a double chin once and she bit my finger. And as for Dib, Dib was a Christmas gift from my mom this year. I love him to death. He's a baby lavender morph corn snake. I'm not sure exactly how old he is or where he came from, but he's absolutely adorable. He's super sweet, super friendly, loves hair, loves glasses, loves kids. A lot of the time, he will just chill on my glasses and he's he's just having a good time. But yeah, I'm feeding Dib Frozen Thawed. He's on Pinky Mice right now. And before you ask, yes, he's named after Dib from Invader Zim. Next question from Woe High Person. If you could make any piece of clothing a part of your body, what would it be? Maybe a hat. I don't know. Um, a, a hat or a hoodie, probably. For the next question from I Am But A Beta Fish. If someone gave you a glass of Kool-Aid made with cytoplasm, do you think you'd be able to tell it wasn't normal? And if you could, would you drink it anyway? Assume it is your favorite flavor. Love your work. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to tell. I don't think I would. I value my life enough, even if it is my favorite flavor, 
that I would not drink it. Next question, Chiwi the Kiwi. Tell us about Dib and Briska and any other babs I might not remember, general information about them and perhaps, and their habits are perhaps a fun fact each. I love seeing, hearing about seeing the little friends. Okay, uh, I told you guys most of everything about Dib and Vriska. Uh, other than them, I do have two beta fish named Fish and Murdoch, after Murdoch Nichols from the Gorillas. Uh, Dib, a fun fact about him, he, oh, he also likes to watch TV. He uh, likes to watch TV video game screens, and it's really adorable actually. Next one from Gay Thought Hours. Thoughts on various cursed kinds of pizza, pineapple, peas, and mayo, banana, I said, Who the fuck eats peas and mayo pizza? Why would you do that? Oh my god, peas and mayo? Peas and mayo, are you kidding me? Okay, uh, next question from Creepy Fangirl. Not to bring back a dead meme, but if a psychic read your mind, what would they see? It would probably be like, sometimes random words will just pop in my head and I'll repeat them over and over and over and over and over and over again for hours. And no matter what I think about, that word is always playing itself over and over and over and over and over again in my head. It would probably be really, really annoying to listen to my head. From Feral Zim, if you had the opportunity to change the amount of limbs you have, what would you give yourself? Uh, wings, obviously, because goddamn, that would be lit. Now from Pro Girl 88, what goes first in the cereal? The the orange juice, the shoe, or the mayo? Dude, are you okay? But obviously the orange juice. Sent in from an anon. Thoughts on ketchup on ice cream? That is probably more cursed than peas and mayo pizza. Okay, next one from another anon. Do you prefer to consume your ice cream with frogs or with rats? I feel like this is the exact same person. Probably rats as long as they don't have the plague. From Bubblegum Ferret, what is a secret conspiracy you would like to start? That the Area 51 raid was originally started by the government to make Area 51 look like a joke when they're actually hiding real aliens in there. So, since that is everything that I've gotten here, I would like to conclude the video by saying thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, I'm just glad you guys actually do enjoy my content and everything. So I hope you guys liked this little sort of thank you video and I hope I can continue to bring you guys awesome content in the new year. So that's all for me from me today. Uh, my name is Hidamori and thank you for watching all my stuff.